Hi, everybody. I'm Lori Rivers, and I'm excited to present Intro to Interceptions in Astrology Charts. I've been a professional practicing astrologer oh, since 1998, so three decades now. And the one question I keep getting asked recently is, what are interceptions and what do they mean? How do I find them? Do I have them? So I thought I'd make this quick and simple to understand presentation to help you understand the interceptions in your chart if you have them. So first things first, you want to have an astrology chart made up. I like using the astro.com charts. I don't get any kickbacks for this. I've had an account with astro.com or astrodeans since the year they started, 1996. So they're the easiest to understand. You have you know, the numbers of the houses on the inside of the wheel, the signs are the thick band on the outside of the wheel. The placements are inside what look like pizza slices. And um, we have a table as well to show us the degrees and of the house cusps, et cetera. And I'm going to show you how to identify that in this video. So what are interceptions? Interceptions are often found in astrology charts that are cast in other house systems besides equal or whole sign. So you'll never find an interception if you're using whole sign charts, okay? Um, this is this is cast in Placidus, all right? But you'd also find it in Coke or Regimentus um, and, and other, there's like many other house systems, okay? I use Placidus, um, and the reason I use Placidus is when I was a young student in the 90s, my instructor had me investigate for my own self about 14, 15 different house systems, and I used the one that I found the most accurate in both natal readings and predictive charts. So I do both mundane astrology as well as natal and personal astrology. So it was based off experience. I, I hear a lot of shade being thrown at Placidus by people who just say, well, that's what they learned with. No, no. Some of us were put through our paces. So the reason you get interceptions in a Placidus or other house system that uses time and place very specifically, because it's very spatial in the math, um, the reason why you get that is because you're born at northern or southern latitudes. Houses represent the environment, okay, and how we relate to it in the different areas of life. If you live at more extreme latitudes, you're going to have a more extreme astrology chart. You have a more extreme life. I hope that makes sense. So, there are two different kinds of interceptions. We have intercepted signs and intercepted houses. If one is present, so too will the other be. So how to find interceptions in the astrology chart? Super simple. First, we're going to look at intercepted houses. All right. intercepted The intercepted house has the same sign on each cusp. So you see this, we have the 12th house starting in Scorpio and the first house starting in Scorpio. That locks in Scorpio in the 12th, right? But it also starts the first. Okay, so that, that would be the 12th house is intercepted. And because astrology is all about polarities, what happens in one house happens in the opposite house. So notice that we have Taurus also intercepted, all right? So, or not Taurus, sorry, the sixth house is intercepted. So we have the 12th house interception and the sixth house interception. Another way to see if you're having trouble seeing if it's actually an intercepted house is to look at the table on an astro.com chart. You'll have all the planetary positions, the aspect table, the modalities and tripl triplicities, and then we have, as well as the elements, then we have the house cusp. So we're going to do this a little bigger so it's easier to see. And you'll notice the AC, which is the first house, it's Scorpio. The 12th house is Scorpio. Okay, so you can find that the first and the 12th house is intercepted. 
Why do they only have six houses here? It's pretty simple. It's always about polar opposites. So if the AC is 20 degrees Scorpio, 26 minutes, 46 seconds, the DC, the descendant, is 20 degrees Taurus, 26 minutes, 46 seconds. Likewise here, okay? So they don't put all 12 houses in here because astrologers will know that the opposite house is in the opposite sign, right? All right, clear as mud. Next, now let's look at intercepted signs. So the sign is intercepted when it's sandwiched between two other signs. So you'll notice in this chart, I've got Aquarius highlighted. The house cusp of this third house starts in Capricorn and it ends in Pisces. So Aquarius is sandwiched in there. A couple ways to describe an intercepted sign is it's like an open floor plan. There's no doorway to identify the change in energy because uh, house cusps could be seen as doorways to a room, right? So you've got a totally different decor happening in this room that has the entry and the exit door, but there's a space that seems maybe a little less defined. So, oh, let's go back. So again, just like with the houses, if you have an intercepted sign in one house, you will see it in the opposite house. Now, in this case, we have the north node intercepted, but not the sun because the sun is in cancer. It's at 29 degrees of cancer. So we just have this planet intercepted. But the Scorpio moon is in an intercepted house, so it too is inter intercepted, and the Chiron in Taurus is intercepted in the sixth. Now, that doesn't mean those planets don't have, or calculation points or asteroids don't have any energy happening. It just means they're activated more strongly, like you get more of the full strength of it when you have a transit. We'll talk about that in a minute. So what does it mean to have intercepted houses and signs? To understand interceptions, you need to understand the function of astrological houses. And I touched on that in the beginning. Houses represent the areas of life and environmental conditions. The signs on the houses describe how, or within the houses, describe how you relate to these. Intercepted houses um, show how or where this energy was less supported in your childhood and something to be gained or understood over time in your life. Intercepted signs and by default placements are, uh, which are intercepted. Okay. We talked a little bit about that. You can scroll back through the video. Uh, they show the aspects of self that mature and come to consciousness later in life or by transits unlocking the energy. So sometimes you're a late bloomer and that can be reflected. Maybe, maybe you didn't have enough money growing up or maybe there weren't, maybe you grew up in a little town and they didn't have the lessons you needed to take you to where you wanted to go. But it's never too late as you got older and you got more agency, you could move away, go to college, um, work somewhere else and be more self-determinate. Transits and interceptions. So what do I mean by uh, interceptions are unlocked by transit? Transiting planets are found on the outside of the wheel. So you can see where that little, those, those are transits. And I'm bringing up these transits because they're currently unlocking the, the interception in this chart. And Pluto is about to slide into Aquarius briefly at the time of this reading um, or this class. Pluto is at the very last degree of, of Capricorn and it's about to go into Aquarius. So Aquarius is almost unlocked in this in example chart. Not yet. The Taurus intercepted house is unlocked. 
Transits unlock interceptions. Lunar transits unlock these areas monthly. The sun and Mercury unlock these transits yearly because it they move around the chart in a yearly fashion, right? It's important to understand that this, how the speed of transiting celestial bodies or calculation points work. So like the North Node and the South Node, they're a mathematical equation. They're not actual celestial bodies. Same like, um, like the vertex or um, the point of fortune, et cetera. You can find point of fortunes in a transit chart too, but it doesn't, doesn't bear a whole lot of weight, right? Um, asteroids and planets and luminaries, they all have different orbits. Now, I'm not going to teach about these. This is just about interceptions. I do suggest if you really want to understand how this works, that you either take a class or get some astrological resources, literature to help understand this. I make lots of classes to help people understand these things. And you can find those in my Patreon or in my um, SNP feed link that I'll tell you about at the end of this process. So here's the deal. If you understand that these are unlocking, they don't just un unlock like, oh, forever, now this is unlocked. It just might be when you were a child. And let's talk about this person here. Um, there were certain times of year, maybe they got to go to summer school or a camp or their families went on road trips. And that would have been when the third and ninth house Leo and Aquarius um, got more activated. Because again, if it's happening in one place, it's activating the other place, maybe by opposition, right? Um, their 12th and sixth house would be um, activated during the Taurus and Scorpio transits of different placements. So they unlock it and you gain kind of like experience points and you get an insight. Uh, nothing is just cut and dry in astrology. Nothing is just like all or nothing. It depends on the individual and their consciousness. And again, I like to say that we see People um, who are maybe late bloomers, they'll they'll grow out of the confines that might have been um, present with interceptions when they were children. Okay, and sometimes you just don't have the authority, right? You're at the mercy of parents and their decisions and school and all of that, where you just don't get to do what you want to do, and sometimes you don't get to foster your own interests. And so as you get older, you get to do that. And that's kind of what interceptions actually represent in a natal astrology chart. So one of the big myths I've been seeing um, on social media, like TikTok, YouTube, other, other channels, is, you know, in if you have a transit going through an intercepted sign or house, the interception swallows it up. That couldn't be further from the truth it actually unlocks that. The interceptions are not a curse. They actually are your hidden treasures that you get to investigate and they actually show your superpowers. And sometimes those take time to develop and mature in life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Lori Rivers. I'm also known as Astro Lori on TikTok and Instagram. I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel. We're going to be providing a lot more educational resources and some other fun ast ast astrological content here on YouTube. Um, you can find out more at sneakfeed.co forward slash astro underscore Lori. Or if you want to book a reading with me or some of the astrologers I've trained, register for a workshop to learn more, you can go to http colon double slash double double slash forward um, wokeastrology.com. I know that was awkward. Just go to wokeastrology.com, okay? Um, I'm more used to teaching in a in a classroom setting. So this is kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to giving you some more basic information about astrology to help clear the mud so you can dive deeper into understanding yourself through your natal chart. Thank you so much.